The revelation of massive tax evasion in the publication of the Panama Papers, or more recently the Paradise Papers, suggested that rich people are particularly inclined to cheat. Some people are, of course, also civic-minded and willing to promote the public good. But others are greedy. Yes, maybe we can call this greed. But does this greed increase with income? To find out, we let participants in our study earn money using a so-called slider task. They earned 10 euro cents for each slider they correctly placed on the number 50. Afterwards, they were requested to roll the die and report the corresponding tax rate. The 1 corresponded to a tax rate of 10%, the 2 to a tax rate of 20%, and so on, up to the 6, which corresponded to a tax rate of 60%. This provided them with an incentive to cheat. Rolling a second time or simply stating a lower tax rate was possible without being detected. Some might report honestly due to morality, a sense of duty, or because they don't mind sharing the joint tax income with all other participants. Let's see what they do. We repeated the task 10 times. Participants always earned money first and then rolled the die. Here we can see the distribution of participants' mean die rolls. The dashed line denotes the expected values for honest subjects. We observe that the distribution is skewed to the left. Most subjects seem to cheat a little in some instances. And potentially report honestly in others. We find that cheating was more pronounced among those who were more skilled at the task. Participants who had very poor skills and earned little income across all ten tasks reported average dice numbers of three, this cheating only a little, while those with very good skills reported only 2.5 on average, showing higher levels of greed. That is surprising. Shouldn't the highly skilled share more with others and play more honestly? Possibly, but on the other hand, they might feel that they deserve a higher income due to their higher skills. We obtained a similar finding related to luck. Sometimes participants were unlucky with the slider task, skipping over the target back and forth. The unlucky ones cheated little, with an average die roll of three. The lucky ones were greedier. That is again surprising. Shouldn't the lucky ones share their fortunes with others? Maybe. To get close to an explanation, we varied the length of the tasks. In some rounds, participants had only 20 seconds to work on the slider task, implying that they didn't earn much. We find that in these rounds, participants cheated only a little. They cheated more, with average dice rolls around 2.7 when they had 40, 60 or 90 seconds and thus earned more. This means participants are cheating all the other players who also worked longer. We thus find a general psychological force that tax morale decreases with income. This is quite surprising because rich people can afford honestly, honesty more than poor people, but they don't act accordingly. Still, there is remarkable honesty, and taxes can help redistribute from the rich to the poor. But higher taxes do not necessarily help the poor if they induce the rich to cheat even more. Well, many people have argued that morality will be particularly poor when tax rates are high. To find out whether this is true, we vary the tax range, confronting only some participants with the medium range. Under this condition, the 10% was reported more often, while the 60% was reported less often. Other participants had a low tax range between 0 and 50%, yet they did not cheat less. Others had to pay high taxes between 20 and 70%. That is really a high rate. But still the distribution remained similar. Irrespective of whether participants paid low, medium or high taxes, they had a con constant tendency to cheat. We thus do not find evidence that tax morale decreases with a higher tax range. If taxes are increased, this does not in itself lead to reduced tax morale. But we find a skewed distribution, implying that tax morale decreases if lower tax rates are available elsewhere. Very topical examples are offshore tax havens. Such tax havens are a temptation for cheating and they are available to the rich, whose tax morale is particularly at risk. That should motivate governments to take a strong position against tax havens. Yes, indeed it should.